Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Gadgets. Today we're going to show you how to connect the brand new i12 smartwatch with iOS. In this video we will include all the options that are in the app, and in the previous video we saw how to connect the i12 with Android. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The process to connect this watch is very simple and quick. First let's make sure our Bluetooth and location are on. If you watched the unbox video you know that we have the QR code on the watch to scan for the app. Let's open the scanner and it will show us the app that we need to download. This link will send us immediately to the app store where we can see where fit 2.0. Let's download this app and see how it goes. In the beginning you'll need to open an account or connect it with a third party however it's convenient for you. After it is opened it will ask for all your health access. Now we are ready to use the apps, here we have three pages that we can use, on the last page we have to go to the connection management press search and keep the watch close. After just a few seconds of searching you can see how it found the watch immediately, click the i12 and wait until it says connected. After you click the i12 it shows a page to confirm connecting to it. Now that it's connected the watch will synchronize itself with the phone. Don't forget to connect it in the Bluetooth page too so all the options can work properly. This is device management where we have a lot of options starting with finding bracelet where it vibrates to help us find the watch. Next we have photography, here we can use the watch like a remote to take photos. After that we have a smart reminder where we can see call, message, alarm, sedentary, app notification and set quiet hours. Favorites for contacts, raise the bright screen to wake the screen when you move your hand, integral point measurements, layouts, and firmware updates are in this page. Here we have our personal information and it is always good to put the correct information so we get more accurate data. Next we have the settings with 12-hour system, clear phone data, restore factory settings and sign in. In the second page of the app we will find other health options like circle, health punch, exercise and other information about health. Let's get back to the first page where we can find a lot of good data. Starting with steps at the top where at the moment we don't have any of them. Down we can see sleep and when you open it up it will show a lot of statistics, sleep time, deep and light sleep etc. Next we have heart rate again similar options, we have some charts or statistics and here we also can start measuring our heart rate and see it in real time. Blood pressure and blood oxygen are the same as heart rate. We have the same information and options on both of them. Fatigue is another good option to have on a smart watch where we can see here in the circle our measurements and we can start a measurement here in real time. Last option here is a weekly report where we can go at the end of the week and see on which day we did most activities or slept, etc. This page is definitely very useful to track so you know what you need to improve or work more. Knowing the worth of this watch, this app is quite good. We have a lot of health options which is always a good thing and they are in order like they should. I think that this watch up until now is working properly and same with the app. Either way we enjoyed showing you how to connect this device with iOS and Android don't forget to come back and see how to connect it with iOS. So, guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video with another smart device.